Hey guys, my name is Sam. Welcome to my channel. And today I want to show how I did my winged eyeliner. Um, I was actually asked how I do it pretty recently and I knew I had wanted to film um, a video on how I usually do it. So I thought I would go ahead and just film it today. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And... We'll go ahead and just so get before I get started, I thought I would kind of let you guys know that when before I start getting ready, whenever I know I for sure for sure I'm gonna be doing a winged eyeliner, um, I do it before I actually apply my base because to me, it's just easier if I mess up on it and just to go in with a makeup wipe and clean it up um, versus having to use concealer with my base already done but that's just personal preference that's just something that I do I will use the concealer method if I've already done my base and I decided last minute that I want to do a wing eyeliner and if I have to clean it up then I'll use concealer but that's not my desired method usually I think okay am I going to do a wing eyeliner today yes then I'll do it before I do my base just going with a um, makeup wipe and clean it up or fix it or whatever um also another trick that I use not often though because I don't really like it but it's using tape um, I mean you would just use the tape um, at the end corner of your eye but I only don't the only reason why I say I don't use it often is because I hate the feeling of tape on my face right here I don't know why like it just ugh, it frustrates me for some reason and so that's not a method that I use often unless I'm kind of in a rush but I want winged eyeliner perfect the first time then I'll use tape but not often not often do I use a tape method um another um tip that I would say is to find an eyeliner that you really really love um, for a while, I didn't have a winged eyeliner because I the one that I had was drying out and I didn't want to repurchase that one because I didn't really like it um, in the, to begin with. And then finally, I had purchased one from Wet n Wild, which I think I have. Uh, yeah, I do have it. It's Wet n Wild, the H2, H2O Waterproof or H2O. H2O is water, duh. Oh my god. Um, so this is the H2O Proof Eyeliner and... I do not like this at all and I was so excited when I bought it because it's so affordable and I was like oh my gosh I hope this eyeliner works I hope it just like slays my life but it didn't it like bled through like it bled in my skin lines and then also I feel like it never dried down I had done a wing and then it, I would look up and it would get on my eyelids so I did it over again and this time I kind of like let it dry but I feel like it never dried like it still would transfer and I literally had to just take off my whole makeup and redo it all over again because it was ruined and it was just not a very good experience with this one but the one that I have been really really enjoying and using recently is the NYX matte liquid eyeliner um, this is a brush it's not a felt tip so like the h2o one is a felt tip i think let me double check yeah so this is more of a felt tip eyeliner and the next one is a, an actual brush so as you can see it's super thin and it's super easy to get really precise in a straight sharp winged eyeliner with this which I do prefer a brush. This is the very first brush eyeliner I had ever used and I'm obsessed with it. Um, there is another eyeliner that uh, is also good. It's a felt tip, which is the Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner. This one does work very well, but I still prefer the NYX one. One, because it's cheaper. Second, because of brush. So I think that's all that I have. I'm out of breath. It was a lot of information. I hope it didn't go too fast for you guys. Do you ever like, sometimes I know I talk too fast, but it's because my brain is thinking fast 
And so I'm trying to talk as fast as my brain is thinking. Does that make any sense? I know, it's so weird, but that's just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm talking too fast. It's just because I know if I talk any slower, then I'm just gonna like forget whatever I'm saying. And I just have to keep up with this brain, it's in my head. But anyways, um, I really wish I had more like tips and tricks for you guys on how I do it. But to be honest, I just wing it. Do you see what I did there? Do you get the joke? Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and start with the eyeliner. Um, the first thing that I like to do is make sure my elbows are resting on whatever desk I'm working at. And then I also use a handheld mirror, just like this one here that's covering the screen. It's just a handheld mirror. And I will take my eyeliner and I will start off with the wing first. And what I kind of do is just follow where my eye is like pointing. So like I'll go up straight like that. And whenever, I don't have any eyeshadow on, I um, use concealer and my brows are done. Um, I just use concealer and I set it down with powder. So usually whenever I am doing a wing eyeliner and I have no eyeshadow on, I usually go for a really thick wing. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do today. Um, in order to get a good thick wing, I like to start off small and work my way up. So hopefully I stay in frame this whole time. This is going to be probably the hardest part of this video is staying in frame where you can see. And also it helps if you hold your breath. Do not breathe. Whatever you do, do not breathe. I'm just kidding. You have to breathe. So I guess I don't know. I'm scared to talk, I don't want to mess up, but you just kind of watch what I'm doing and I'll explain after. So I'm just going to follow my eye shape. So I will start with going as far as I want it to go. And then from there, I won't go to the edge where the line stops. I'll kind of go... Um, a little bit before it because that that line is what's going to make the wing super super sharp so just starting again before that And then I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to fill that in. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep going with this line here on my eyelid. So now I'm going to go ahead and just fill that gap in. eyeliner but to be honest I kind of want it more thick than this so just like we did the first time where the line is we're just gonna make that build on from there so. So I'm gonna give that a moment to dry down before blinking or opening my eye. 
And just to clean up the edge, I'm going to take a makeup wipe and wrap it, wrap it. I'm going to take a makeup wipe and wrap it around my finger, just like this. This is the Yes To makeup wipe, just in case if you're wondering. And I'm just going to clean this up here. And then for the second eye, basically the same thing. This like for some reason always comes out so different. And this one did get a little bit rough, but with our makeup wipe again, we can just clean that up. So once I have it to where I feel like they're, they're similar enough, of course they're not going to be perfect. But from there, I will go ahead and just put on my face makeup. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching and being here today with me. Um, but like I said, remember to subscribe so that way you know every time I upload, you'll be able to just click it and watch it. Um, or also click the bell to be notified if you want to. Um, but yeah, that is it. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.